Flowhow, sales of Molex 3D and consultancy, specialists in injection molding simulations. Hello, Matthias Jespersen from Flowhow. In this uh, video, I want to show you how to optimize your mesh uh, in a clever way using a designer uh, BLM or designer for Moldex 3D. Uh, I'm using a uh, Moldex uh, 3D uh, release 13 with a service, service pack 2 and with patch 3. I'll uh, show you on a very simple model, but it uh, can be done in every model. I'll start up designer. Yeah, the BLM. I'll use <clears throat> some uh, step files that I have exported uh, at an earlier stage. I'll take the part. File open. Uh, yeah, open it there. And then I'll take a runner system. Yes, import. Like this. Uh, now we have uh, two parts in the model or designer a uh, runner and a cavity. I will give them properties as runners and cavity. I'll start out with the uh, the runner, in this case, because I had marked it, I'll choose cold runner, and then I'll choose uh, the cavity, and I'll choose cavity, like this. Now they are defined, then uh, I have to define the melt entrance, and I use this wizard, and it finds out, okay, it must be up here that the melt entrance is, and it's correct. Uh, we could put in a mold base, uh, a mold box, and some cooling. Uh, but in this case, it's uh, not necessary to show uh, the modification of mesh that I'll I'll uh, show you. Um, first of all, I'll put some uh, node seating on. I'll say uh, okay. I'll put point six in this and hit OK. And it, then I get the uh, node seating like this and the mesh will be uh, be following uh, this node seating. I click OK and then I say OK, create the surface mesh only. And I hit OK to this. And then I find out I find out, okay, maybe I have uh, uh, I've done some uh, repairing of a, a part or something in some areas and done some work on the part. And uh, then suddenly I realize, okay, I had uh, too rough mesh in this area of the runner. In this case, the runner. So, um, what I will do is I will show you how to uh, make a much finer mesh in this area, in the gate area, without uh, deleting uh, any mesh. So I'll uh, first of all I'll hide the cavity, and then I'll go in and say. Uh, Modify fine node seating, and then it asks if I want to delete the existing mesh. Normally, you would say yes if you uh, want a more fine mesh all over the part, but it's only these areas that I want to make a finer mesh. So I'll say no to this. Um, then I have the node seating again now, and uh, what I'll do now is uh, I will, uh, first of all, I will have a more fine mesh exactly in the gate area. So I mark those like this. And then I say uh, mesh size instead of uh, 0.5, 
I'll put point one maybe. And now look at the mesh. Yeah, it looks, uh, or the node seeding, it looks much more, much better. To avoid a lot of distorted uh, elements, I can not only make this surface uh, very fine, because then I would have a very core, coarse uh, uh, mesh up here. And now uh, I would then, uh, I'll say, okay, I'll take these two cylinders running around or edges and um, I'll define them. I took point one on the other and then maybe point four on those. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, point three, five. Is Maybe better not to get too much, too rough, uh, um, too rough uh, mesh. And then um, there's only this problem: the connection, the edge connection from this gate surface to this uh, uh, to this edge. I'll uh, mark all these lines. And then I'll say, okay, how many points should we have? We should have uh, 10, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, it's, I think it's a quite good number. And then we will make some biasing. And I'll just make the linear biasing and say, okay, two like this. And then I look. Okay, the biasing is too hard, too hard here. So um, I will uh, I will make it 1.5. Yeah, maybe also a bit too, because you will get a element that looks like from this point to this point to this point. So I will. Put it down to point three. Yeah, maybe it's I should take this to point. Yeah, like this. Then I have a quite good. Missing. Uh, maybe I should go back to 10 and then put in point one or just one. Yes, I think this is the right. Like this, and then uh, I hit this uh, OK button. And then it changes the mesh. If I, for example, had uh, have made some optimization of the mesh in this area and suddenly noticed, OK, I had to make a refinement of the mesh in this area. Um, I can keep all of the mesh in those areas and just use the node seeding for uh, doing the refinement. That's very clever. If we switch on the uh, cavity now, now it's possible to uh, generate the cavity and the runner mesh. It's just hit, hit the button and Let's see what's happening. It did like uh, this. It said, uh, says there are some uh, bad elements, but uh, let's hit the auto fixing. Yeah, I should pick both of those and maybe hit auto fix. And now we have a model where we have a fine meshing around the gate area. So it's a, it's a finished and a, actually it's ready for making the simulations. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you another time. Bye.